In this training video, we're going to look at using formatting and bar styles text. So this is under the format tab. And what we're about to do here, where we've got all the resource names, we could use the initials instead of it, which we'll use in this example. And we'll also add the name of the task to the left-hand side of the task bar. So we're going to go to the format, bar styles. Now at the bottom, we've got the text and bars options. We're going to use text and we've got resource names. And we can change this to resource initials. So there's a drop down arrow. There's plenty of options to choose. So these are the one we're using right now, resource names. So we're going to use resource initials in this example. That's on the right and on the left. We're going to use, if you want to show the task name is called name. So you can type it in. There it is there, name. Let's see how it looks. So now if you look at the task, you've got the name of the task on the bar. Plus you've got the initials of the resources. If you didn't want the initial of the resources and you wanted the full resource back, as you might say, I'm not sure what HH means. You might say, I'm not quite sure that's what, what that's referring to. You can go straight back to format, bar styles, text, and we can change it back to resource name. And then okay. And there we go. So you can now see how you could how you could display a name. Now these resource names are coming from the resource sheet. So we go and look at the resource sheet. So if you wanted shorter names, you could always shorten it and abbreviate it at the resource sheet level. Because for example, if I call the engineer manager Eng Mange, so I could go Okay, and there's one example. Let's see what happens when we go back to plan chart. And now you can see Eng Mange. So if you wanted to abbreviate the resource names instead of using initials, you can do that. You can also do use the initials in resource sheet by adding some extra information. So you could I could have put ENG M against the initial. I could have put the H to be HRM. So there's initial, you can always double click and type in as well, or you can type in. So initials, I can type in H R M A N G. There you go. And if I go to HR rep, and actually I could call it HR. Or HR with another R. So I could go H R, R P. And if I go back to the Gantt chart, now we decide to change to initials instead of resource name, format, format again, bar styles, text. Those initials and that now starts looking a bit better because we know now more what, what the initials mean. So this might be a way of shortening the resources by using initials and just giving it, giving the initials something meaningful. So here's now the resources with the initials. So ENG, engine manager, manager and HR man, HR rep. The M would have to be maybe a little bit more detailed. But you can get the idea here what's happening. And this is a way of cutting down on the amount of resources that are displayed on the Gantt and for printing purposes. And the same could be done for task names. If you didn't want all the task names, you could abbreviate them in this area. And all of a sudden then you'll see shorter task names against the task bars in the Gantt chart. But this completes the training video now on the use of the bar styles to change in this example from resource names to resource initials and back again.
Then we adjusted his resource names and initials and resource sheet. And we also added the different tasks to the taskbars. And we can see that the task is now against the task using the, the bar styles option. This completes the training video on formatting the different bar styles and adding text and the amending text. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.